morning guys, it's time to my sandwich and I just completed the main storyline for Red Dead Redemption 2 and now I am about to go see West Elizabeth in New Austin for the first time and uh, and this is coming from someone who's played Red Dead Redemption and pretty much memorized it by heart so I'm just gonna see how many differences I could pick out and how nostalgic I'm gonna get I think it's gonna be pretty fun so right now I'm in Right now, I'm in. Uh, I'm about to enter West Elizabeth, and we're gonna get down here, and then just spend a little bit of time down there. As far as I know, you can't get to Mexico, but you can still get to New Austin. So we're gonna see uh, how many places we can find. All right, I think this is it. I think this is where we cross the border. Yep. God damn, it feels so weird being here. Right there. That's the. Uh, I'm guessing that's part of Blackwater, so I'm gonna go there first. Oh man, I'm getting the feels. I don't think those trees were there last time. Can you go inside the, the chapel? You used to be able to go inside the chapel. Nope. That's a little boring. Another thing I remember is that uh, you could climb on this fence, but I'm guessing now uh, since there's like spikes on it, they don't want you to. Oh, so they're like under construction now. This wasn't there before, and yeah, there was, there was like a train station here. This part was all industrialized and everything. Was there a building here? I can't remember. I, I don't think there was. I gotta, I gotta get a glimpse of the saloon, see how much has changed. The saloon's different too. There wasn't an there wasn't an outdoor, and there was a there was like another door here that leads to a bunch of tables outside. The general store is in the same spot. Nice that they kept that in, in order. It looks pretty much the same. So this used to be the theater that you can go to in the first game, but I'm guessing that now that um. Now that there's a theater down there that I haven't checked out yet, uh, this this one's you can't go to this one, or can you? I don't, I'm not actually sure. Nah, that kind of sucks. This one's way cooler. And is this the hotel? Hi. Yeah, that's a hotel. So I remember you can go in this building too. What? You can't walk inside. You used to be able to walk inside. I'm pretty sure this building used to be a gunsmith shop, and I guess they changed it. I don't know why. All right, I think we're done here. Let's go check out uh, Manzanita. Whoa, there's like a grassy top in this one. There's not really much here. There's not even a train station. There was a train station here before. This place is empty. You can't even go inside? What shit is that? This was like one of the main po- it was like a pretty major place in the first game. So let's move on to New Austin. Whoa, this is very different. There was like buildings and towns and everything here. Like this was a whole industrialized town. Now there's nothing. It's not even, there's not even, like, there was a big ass saloon right there. Why's this guy got a bounty on him? Alright, alright, I mean, no trouble. So, so this was a gang hideout now? Maybe? I'll we'll have to come back to find out. Is, is that big ranch gone? There was a ranch right here. I think it is. This looks so... They did a really good job on making it look like the first one. This is incredibly accurate. This makes me, I, I almost feel like I'm playing Red Dead Redemption 1 again. <sighs> you see Armadillo in the distance? I wonder... Is that Armadillo down there? I think it is. 
Let's go have a look. Let's go have a look. So, in the first game, what the heck is going on now? Is this a sandstorm? This was not a thing before. Oh my god, I can't see a thing! What is happening? Jesus! a gang hideout now so in the first game there was a mission where they go to tumbleweed which was a ghost town in the first game and they talked about and they talked about armadillo having used to be a total ghost town then once they built the train track that leads here uh, it became like a major livestock city or not city but still a pretty big town full of people so I can see that that's not the case now. Can you go inside the saloon? The saloon is such an iconic place, you gotta be able to. It's got the same thing! It's... <laughs> this is like the most memorable place in all of Red Dead Redemption, so it's nice that they didn't leave this out. It's got that's that's the same picture on the back. Is that the general store? Come on, general store's gotta be a gotta be like a. You, I gotta see if Herbert Moon's there. Is it Herbert Moon? Oh my God, it's Herbert Moon. Is that the that's the the strange dude in the back? They kept so much continuity. It's Herbert. It's just a little portrait somebody gave me once. I always quite liked it. Why? No reason. Just seemed familiar. Anyway. Oh my God! They that so All that right, poster. That, there was a there was a side that. mission in the first game about this like this uh, strange man and he, he knew John Marston, but John Marston didn't know him, so he kept having him do tasks, and in the end. Kind. In the end, John was like, okay, you better tell me where I know you before I put a bullet in your head. And he's like, see, the problem is, I can't remember. Like, he was this really strange person. Then he's, then John started shooting him. He just absorbed him like they were nothing, and he disappeared. So since then, there's been a lot of speculation going around, whether he's a god or a, like a devil. Like, no one really knows. I'm happy that they didn't just leave him out of the game. They kept him in there somehow. I'm gonna go check out the Ridgewood Farm, see if that's still a place. Is that... that's Oddfellow's Rest? That's not... There's, I'm not gonna get that nostalgic, but I thought that it would've been gone. Wait, 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 there's... before I go, though, there's something I gotta check out. So in the first game, there was a side mission where you help this old lady find her husband. And then in the end, turns out that her husband, Jimmy Saint, has been dead for a long time and he was buried here so I'm gonna see if his grave is still here yeah I didn't see it damn that's boring I really wish that they would have left it in there like it's a pretty pretty easy thing to do 